I, I don't think you can ever be prepared for Paper Rex so until you play him twice, like, in a couple days. Like, then, then maybe a little <laughs> bit. So we're going to welcome our teams to the stage, T1 and Paper Rex. I just love T1's, oh, T1's banner. banner. It's so sick. Like that Archer outside of their office in Kondam. Yeah. So cool. Paper Rex is going to get a big round of applause as well. Uh, definitely, they have made fans everywhere across the globe. Truly, I mean, our best-selling team capsule, yep. of course. Pearl lets everybody know it, too. Wow, and the first <laughs> one to walk out onto the stage, take center. Of course, the return of Jing. How will this all fit in? Will Paper X be returning to top form? I mean, of course, you know, another team that we're thinking about is still Gen G with how well they have performed in the past few months. T1 right up next to them. There is a very slim chance. It is very possible. You never know what's going to happen in Valorant. Absolutely. I mean, I think, look, T1 is really, really good. This is a team that I had huge expectations for. They came up just short of making it to Madrid. And I love this roster. I love the way they play. Izu is a player that everybody is telling me uh, behind the scenes. When I talk to other players and coaches, like, this guy could be the next superstar. Like, he could be the guy that you really need to keep your eyes on. Uh, as a player that could kind of take over this league and be the guy that we're talking about day in and day out. Bike. Oh my god, and he's got a classic. This is so bad. The crowd. So many gasps and no's. They have no idea, dude. Tree being taken now as the toxic screen goes up. We do have a couple of players from Paper X watching the back. x with his Headhunter. Six rounds. Pretty much a sheriff. Walking all the way through. Go Setting off. up the positions. Saya starts things off with a headshot onto Davai. Of course, now everyone has to divert their attentions away. You never know who's lurking around the back. Something still sharp as ever, though, able to take down Saya. Excurate has been spotted. First hit hunter shot whiffed. And something's just trying to play it safe, trying to play around the positions. Forsaken, unfortunately, getting taken out, though. And that's all down to Mind Freak. Still rounds left in the Headhunter chamber. Goes back out, two players, a little bit too much. Body block and everything, and T1 picks up the pistol. A lot of confident angles and pushes and stuff like that, so they, yeah, that was, if you're confident against Paper X, it can, it can snowball. It can snowball a bit. Cam check, that <laughs> fast. <Okay>. Oh. <laughs> Just starting things off with a bit of that lurk. Oof. Bit of a re peek and two kills. So quick, collected. The rest of the team now pushing up. A little bit of mind presence to, to know that there could be more players trying to make this B play happen. It happened on the pistol round. Maybe T1's going to do it again. A is completely open after all. Yeah, something already getting up towards heaven. Good ready. smoke, though. Very good. Allows for something to play around the positions. You got Jing ready with the paint shells as well. This, this is a good setup. It could be red. I mean, this is kind of what Paper oh, X likes cells. to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you meant. All right, Forsaken. He's on for the ace. Okay. Oh. He's got the quad. <laughs> it's just round three. T1's trying to play it safe, trying to do what they can do. The friendship between uh, Forsaken and The bromance. Yes. Yeah, dude. Oh, that spot. Great bait. I mean, that's going to be now T1 trying to fight in for this, but Mind Freak is Whoop. not going to let them go down without a swing. Shrouded steps away, and they are definitely aware of it. But look at what's happening across the map, too. Forsaken through the link. Catches Excure from behind. Now so much more space being gathered. You've got the trip wire in front of Rossi. He can't go through for free. Neural theft just reveals. He's two surviving players on Paper X, but the other three have quite a bit of money. Waiting for exits. He's got the judge. There goes the first. Fires off a second shot even before he sees Mind Freak, and it does connect. A lot of tools at their disposal. That could really change the dynamic. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa. Does it quite connect? Side player in a bit of a tricky position right now as Forsaken hunkers down. Watches out over onto Pillar and captures onto two more players. B side is open. Knew there would be the reload, and he knew he could push through. Really smart play from Forsaken. Jeez Louise, oh god. And now it's gonna be the operator with the angle. Down goes Mind Freak. But down goes this. Oh, a spike carry as well. Side players come back in kind. Although they've got the positioning. 
The spike drops. Oh, 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 Viper's oh, oh, oh. pit now up by Rossi. They know they should have this round. How do you push back in? Look at what's happening again. Forsaken. It's uh, happening again? I think x -Curate has a decent idea <laughs> that his brother's doing this. All right, all right. Well, I want to see how yep. Forsaken can if does he check it. Do you know what your brother's doing? Or is it going to be a pink mist? I mean, they got time to really make sure that they're set up. Kind of come from all three angles at once. Oh! Unbelievable. One shot, one kill. Now on to the next. And he's online for the ace. Rossi's right around the edge of it, and Forsaken just sprays downtown. Should be able to hear most of this. You can see that he's communicating it to his team right now. But unfortunately, blinded, not quite able to all do all too much. Devai on the other side, a bit of a tap with the Phantom, but instantly traded. <laughs> Spotted x through Waterfall now, something. Wanting to take the duel, they know they have to watch out for Mount. Trade's coming in, and the timer still ticking away. A bit more of a standard round as Jing, alongside Mind Freak, do their job at anchoring down this spike. T1 not able to retake. Mound hit here. Just gonna, they're just gonna push. Wow. Oh, I don't know how this is gonna work out. Something able to trade oh, off for down. Jing, See. but unfortunately that sheriff has been dropped. Excure now on the other side, marking pillar. Able to capture onto Forsaken. Mind Freak on the other side with the classic. Just peeks out at the right time, but goes in for the reload. And Rossi just capitalizes. Something now with the swings, and all of a sudden Rossi Cold and alone, feels the pressure, needs to get the spike down at the very least. Very important factor into how this round plays out, but Paper X kind of oh. gambled incorrectly here. There, this is going to take some time, and now right. they realize, uh-oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. So if you were in Rossi's shoes in this very situation, you can sense the timing of which uh, Paper X might take to rotate over back onto C. He's going to make use of this. There were some pings across the map. He's going to hear the footsteps, so. Less oh, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The... Something with the swing just between those two players. So kind of an interesting idea coming through. T1's going to try to flood. Only one. And just in terms of preference of players and, and the positioning that they have, Paper X has the right setup as T1 tries to barrel through, but Devi Ages. He's got some trips, but is it going to be enough to deal with the full forces of T1? Saya with the Blast Pack Beak, able to take him down. Oh, what? what? Something through the smoke. A bit of a skewer and two hits just get pierced. Now the three of them uh, remaining T1 players pushing down into defender spawn. Exeter has got the operator, able to make use of it. Trying to be vocal about what he needs. The rest of the team trying to come back into support, but Jake just with the patience to tap on the brakes a little bit. Hide inside of this dark cover provided by Mind Freak and sticking the defuse all the way through. Excret has to peek out, but that's just the punishment that you're afforded when Paper Rex takes you to school. All right, now that that rocket has been spent, the rest of Paper Rex are uh, thinking, let's rotate over to defend another uh, part of the map. Who's trying, they're trying not to tell Paper X what they're doing. Now that the dark cover comes up, though, Paper X definitely aware. The oh. jump peak. Can't do that too often now, but to five peaks out at the right time, slays two, looks for the third. You know, he's been so good on Sky for so long. Kind of I love like, to watch him play it. Kind of looks like Alex almost lost his No time. way! Wow! At least Mind Freak managed to take him out midair, but great opening from Saiyan Player with the Rockets. Forsaken now peeks out off of it. Paper X presses the go signal along with the Seekers. Forsaken, two kills from that Phantom. x the only one left, comes back in to try to retrieve the spike, but he's got so many targets. There <laughs> is that Jing movement. What a return. Love it. It's all across, and yeah, everyone knows how to work off of it. This is why this team works so well. They've got the synergy, they've got the chemistry. Something wow. still safe enough. The door swung open. Forsaken finds his own frag. Map like they are, but some of that attention paid over there. Sia Flare. Fast kill onto something. Great punish. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds now. They have to go in, but Mind Freak 
He has been stepping up. He showed what he's capable of in Madrid, and now he's coming back in. The toxic screen, you know, might just give them a bit of a, a leg room, but oh, there's that shot. Tries to updraft away, but not too bad with the stinger. Carpe will be able to gun him down. Face your fear! Really? Wow, committing into this. Side player down to 5 HP, though. They have to be a little bit careful. At least the trails will alert them as to where some of these Paper X players oh. are positioned. But they had no idea. A couple more coming through the door. And that's going to be T1. Unfortunately, not quite able to secure it. Okay. Got it. They got to work the map. But now Paper X has planted their feet. They're not really biting on much. To buy to get this kill. Yep. I mean, he's trying to work the map. But Carpe is just exploring left. it on his own. Uh, they know that they are running out of options. Don't want to go to A because the operator's there. B has been blocked off. No choice but to barrel through into C, but that's where Forsaken is. Extra, good shots. But when it comes down to it, running out of space, running out of time, Izu tries to thread the needle, but Jing, you need those protocols to carefully clear and check every single one of these bounds. First of all, tree going through. The paranoia has been sent out. Trade's coming in, but look at the number of reinforcements that Paper Rex has. Defy and Jing back in action. Paper Rex ends out the first map. The early mosh. It's just a touch of damage. He's gonna have to run. Head for the hills, my friend. Oh, he can't really make his way. What? What? Why? <laughs> like Dumpford's got a headshot on the Sia player? How I wow. Whatever it is, um, Spike planted. not quite able to put out any high tide, so it's just a full-on retake for Paper X now. They've got some of these pistols, they've got some of these flashes, and that's a great initiating utility to make their way onto site. Gonna be blocked off by the early Cascade, though. Excurt having a different playstyle from his brother Forsaken, but how is that playstyle gonna work out against a player just as aggressive? The entire team, something, Jing, everyone's flooding oh, in never through the Izu. floodgates. Oh. I had a bit of a sky smoke, but it's that toxic screen that allows them to walk straight through lamps, along with poison cloud. A bit of a hop over, but Jing has the right positions to play along with paint shells and the outlaw. Swaps over the classic, collects onto the triple kill. A bit of a rampage and a tear for Paper X. Really smart stuff from him. And it's just Paper X, so even on the rounds you win, it doesn't feel great. It's <laughs> trying to. Going for a hitter against that poison cloud. What? <laughs> Forsaken with the timing on it. Oh my goodness! Off of the sky smoke. He just goes in for the hat trick again and again. How many multi kills have we seen today from him? So, with the ultimates available now, something just goes back into Rob even more away from T1. Pretty soon, T1's gonna have to uh, call in a timeout or something. Yep. They're losing confidence and, and not quite able to execute their plans any longer. Roxy might have the toxic screen up. They might be able to send out a bit of a trailblazer, but how do you collect on that space? Well, the answer is going to be Sia player with the blast packs through. A bit of a frenzy. Needs to pick up a weapon. An anti flash. But yeah, Mind Freak just turns away. Counter flash coming in now from Divine. And it's just the execution from Jing and Forsaken. The bromance is back. Rotated over them. Pro players. Got showers now. Taking down short. Divide just a blind spray. A able to take down side player. No entries found. Carpe able to push up off of some utility. Heads lined up and he's still able to take down onto a second. Divide has to trade. Off of the. Ooh, making use of the cast. Sneak down into the corner. Divide finds one more. Something he's gotten a triple. A. Something coming up from the other side. One enemy Spike remaining. slowly taking away, but oh Divai able to shut down yet another position. Here comes something. On the Paper X side. Now going back in to investigate into this main area. You've got so many flashes being tossed out. It's a good textbook Paper X style strategy, but unfortunately the flashes do not favor them this time. They've lost out in this firefight. Real question is, did Jing get spotted tucking into this corner? Still trying to make use of it all. A little bit nervous because of the Mosh Pit, but still able to recover nonetheless. Able to take down x -Curit. Now, Paper X having recovered. Carpe down at 5 HP. It's going to be Sia player with the op that brings them back into the equation. Hey, 
he had a great, great little round there. Holding things nicely. Can Forsaken do anything about this? Out wide in the open. Spike down Proxy was meant to cover, but unfortunately sidestepped at the wrong time. He was trying to peek for info. So now using the cove just to mark that spike. High tide to block off even more space. Oh, but Zaya knows. He's anticipating this wrap. Got to watch out for that op. Forsaken should know. Trigger discipline lets him pass for one second. He comes back in just to isolate the duel. Reckoning being sent out. Senses that Saya Plazer is not exactly right around the spike. But wow, picked it up at the right time. He hops on over, Saya Player might just be able to make it happen. But Forsaken quicker on the draw through the teleporter. The set plan with the high tide. Covering all exits of the smoke, the wall as he falls. Curtis dropped it now to buy aim to find the first. But as soon as the rest of the T1 players continue to peek out trying to trade, lo and behold, three more Paper X players are on the other side. Along with some of these frenzies, Forsaken captures the kills, and they want to press forward into the B site. They've got a full minute to work with, though, so no real need to commit to it unless they spot more. Using the boom bot now, but Saya player lands a great shot. Jing recovering off of it. And I mean, I'm back in the chat. Got a little spray. That's the first head to fall. Paper X backs off, just coming in to reinforce. Great shot from something. Right clicks, Forsaken with the sprays. Saya player through the back side, able to find one, but Forsaken just finding all e and even more. B take process, catching Paper X on the timings of things. Against that launching pad right now, Paper X looking to take over Garden. The Empress, oh but everyone's God. been blinded by Carpe's. At the same time, <laughs> Izu's Guiding Light as well. Just utility for utility in two for two. I thought maybe Carpe was going to knock down a few more there. He Absolutely. went for it. Just Valoranted upside of V-Long. Straight into B-Site. Got the high tide now for a bit more cover just to cut the side in half. Paper X setting up for a bit of a quick peek. More lurks. Look at Rossi. A little bit afraid of Hookah, yeah, and Rossi as well. Got to deal with the site first, though. Sion player is still very much tucked away and hidden. Something coming back in for the trade. Side steps out. Online for the quad. Has to pick up the spike, but he has no idea that Rossi's right here. It's one of those times where Forsaken's high time works against him, but now just a full send into the A site. Jing, classic with the judge. He goes in. Nails down Exeter, picks up the rifle, but Carpe answers right back in time, just as quick. Dizzy sent up, Trailblazer trying to find him, but not found just yet. Spike is not planted because it's not safe enough. Easy right around the corner. The vice hopped off it for a second. Forsaken trying to trade right back. It's gonna be mine for committing the orbital strike just to give them a little bit more security. Rossi, the last one Spike left, planted. trying to wrap back around from Lamps. Does he know, though? T1 adjusting Four right back, enemy. though. Now trying to play around the teleporter towards B. Look towards Carpe, as well as x -Curate. Saya player with the op as well. Oh my god. Paperx playing their own teleporter plays. And wow. Izu, unfortunately, not quite able to land the shot. Mind Freak on a bit See of a lurk that. for himself. Catches onto the first player. Wingman throws off his crosshair. Great plays from Carpe as he tries to even out the numbers. Spike, however, Spike will planted. still be planted for Paper Rex. Carpe's gecko play is so good, man. He's so confident on this agent. I'm trying to keep them at bay. High tide as well, just for added cover. Sight cut in half now, but then there is that additional thrash. Oh. Paper X this time prepared for it. They knew that they were going to try to play around that gecko. They knew that they were going to try to play around you know, lamps in some of these spots on the map. Spike now planted. T1 without their limbs, without any arms and legs, gonna have to save. And it's just that little pump of the brakes from Paper Rex. I think the, the anticipation there with the util starting to come out that you can use that thrash while Jing is trying to find a spot to get in with that showstopper potentially to catch him and slow that down or just get anybody on the entry. It doesn't really matter who it is. Now that's <laughs> interesting. Last oh, player standing. Okay. Trying to find whatever you can get. Exactly. 
That's the catalyst right now. I got this spot. Right, all it takes is Jing finding one off the back of these Seekers. Look at them, they're scattering. They are just go. going to the wind. Jing going to set up for it, but he's hanging onto it. We've got Showers Control, too. Here goes. It connects onto Rossi. Carpe, though, swings out at the right time. There's a bit of a trade. Something along with the Empress, too, who stays alive. Saya player still into the fray, though, along uh -oh. with its operator. Does not expect Forsaken from behind. There's that additional layer, Paper X. Dominating this exchange, this firefight. The crowd starting to chant for the team. Paper Rex. As Same. they approach match point. Excurate, he's not out yet though. I don't want to count him out. Slowly approaching out towards the front. Anticipates the angle. Flicks on towards his brother. Now on towards the reckoning. That will wow. give him a lot of information. Spots out to Vi. Tosses in the cove. Creates a little bit more space for himself. Has to swing out the sides. Spots out another player, but oh! Ready for the timing, the reckoning to try to clear space, but it's all a fake. Excure it. Oh my gosh, so close. Ooh. Now just continuing to back off. Paper X trying to stay themselves alive, but T1 won overtime so bad. They've managed to deal with the initial onslaught. Paper X hanging back. Because Excure gets out of there with his life, then he could use the high tide to keep Paper X from pressing forward on to B. They will continue to slide over in this direction, but he's moved in. All ultimates are spent now. Side player marking Hookah. Lands the first shot, Excurit with the off angle. Mind Freak in for the trade. But now, the entire T1 army, all of the archers, all of the cavalry have arrived. Can you take them down? The lone Ronin. Guiding light, he slipped past the smoke. Looks towards the first player, but Izu just a little bit sharper. Echo utility, so on point as well. This is dangerous. Desperately trying to push themselves into a third map, but Mind Freak does not allow them through. And Spike Carrier dropped as well, I think. He's definitely called it. Yeah, and there's one of those Forsaken pushes with that Cascade, but this time he has backup. You know, trying to cut off a fight. Trying to isolate players. Oh, it's got so much information. There. Yeah, uh, yep. They, they pretty much should know. But they're kind of waiting. Mm. Maybe anticipating a grab of the spike and a rotate. They still haven't shifted anywhere else but showers. Now they're going to, with that cove there, <laughs> great hold for Mind Freak. Might as well let them sweat. So I play with a great dink, though. 30 seconds left. So comes back in. 30 seconds left. Spike still dropped out in the open. It's cold. Rossi tries to ca capture a little bit more space now. Trying to set up for something with his utility, but Jin catches him off the timing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Double satchel up on top of truck. Hello! Still staying tucked away. Excurit marking him. Device starts things off as he finds and discovers Saya player. This could be it. Poison's off. Ah. Rossi slowly pushing up front now, but the marking. Two of them all together, all at once. Paper Rex. It's another overtime, but it ends just as quick as it starts. 14 to 12. T1 will not be able to make it past Paper Rex today. Looking rather good for Paper Rex. T1 still keeping pace, still showing that they can fight tooth and nail with Paper Rex.